look at my second point. I am not, I am more than a brain and body, I am a soul. The first argument is the indivisibility of personhood. One, a physical object can be divided and come in percentages or degrees. Two, I cannot be divided, I am an all or nothing kind of thing. Three, therefore I am not a purely physical object, I am a soul. Let me illustrate. If I were to take this table and cut it in half, I would get 50% of a table. But the same cannot be said of a person, because personhood is an all or nothing kind of thing. You can't be divided. Numbers, for example, are the exact same way, with respect to being even. The number six is not more even than the number, than the number two. Evenness is not a property that comes in degrees. It either is or it isn't. Now it's true that some operations have been done where they've actually removed 55% of a person's brain. Or Dandy Walker syndrome where a person is only born with 10% of a brain. Now the point is you don't have 90% of a person after this. You still have a full person. They may lose functioning but they do not lose personhood. So since I cannot be divided but my brain and body can, it follows that I am more than my brain and body, I am a soul.